te Rua te kaumā toru te pakeke o Rona Walker i te putanga o te kōrero kua riro i āe te mate whatukuhu. I te mea kaore o na tākihi i te mahi hei whakapai i o na toto. I te whare wānanga aia i taua wā, he kai tunu kai hoki, nō reira he mea ohorere te putanga o taua whakatau. And I got told that I was in stage renal failure, that I have to some stage start dialysis within the next year. And that was just, you know, you, you just don't think that's going to happen to you, you know? You just never did you think something like that was going to happen. I was shocked and um, Rona, of course, Rona was shocked. And because um, Rona just started training as a chef at the time, you know, her career was going to, was in the chef um, department and, um, you know, she was worried about whether she was able to carry on working and um, and and that and you know and it was no she she really it really hit her hard. I thought no 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 I can do this I can do this I'll do one year and then I'll start di- dialysis I should be fine I should be able to, and but I I just couldn't manage it. I te matenga rawa o ngā tākihi o Rona, he ua ua te whakamahi i ngā mea ngāwari. Nā te ngenge ka pā mai i te mate tākihi, ka raru ana mahi ki te whare wānanga, ka mutu ka puta aia. Ka mutu hoki tana mahi nō reira ka nuku atu ki te kāinga o tōna whāia. Ka mau hoki te whakāro i āia, kia noho hohi pera, hei oranga mōna. You actually went to the renal clinic and they sort of gave you a tour and and showed you what a machine was all about and... There was about 20-something machines inside the self-care unit at Middlemore Hospital. And I walked in with the social worker and my dad and I just started bawling my eyes out. Honestly, I walked in and I started crying to see the people sitting on the machines like this, knowing that I'm going to be like that. It was hard, it was... Ah, man. Oh, it was depressing, and the, and then and then I went to watch someone needle, put his needles in, and I was so scared. I was looking at it like this. I was going, because I'd never even seen a needle, let alone see a man put his own needle in. And on my own, I went a few times after that on my own, just to get my mind prepared for when I start. Mm. Ko te hemo dialysis, te fai a te tangata i te tahi atu mea pera i te mihini tākihi e whakapai ana i te toto. Ka panahau te mihini i te toto o te tinana ki wāinga i te tehi tātari e ki ana ko te dialyzer. Ki reira ngā paru me ngā tōinga wai e tuku kia hoki te toto pai ki roto i te tinana. E toru ngā wā ia wiki te mihini dialysis e mahi ana. Atu i tērā ko te puka tākihi hou anake te mahi hei whakapai i te tūroro. Before I started dialysis, um, they had to put an access into my arm, which is what this is, so that the needles can be inserted and the blood can come out and go in. Um, and the access is called a fistula. Kia tū pakari anō te hauora o Rona, ka tīmata i a kirunga i te mihini dialysis, mō ngā wā e toru o te wiki. Ka whakarere kēhia hoki tōna āhuatanga noho, kia ū anō ki te kaupapa hauora. After the very first one, I felt a whole lot better. I'd started to get my my energy back, eh? I'd started to be me, more me again. And I'd say after a good week of dialysis, oh, I'd come right. You feel like... You've woken up after a really, really, really good sleep. If I dialyse, I'm well. If I don't dialyse, I'm not well. If I continue without dialysis, I can die. I te whakaitanga o Rona ki ngā whakaora mate i ngā wā e toru o te wiki, ka tau tana noho. I te pikinga o tana haura, ka puta tētahi mea miharo i tētahi o ana whakamātou tau toto. The doctor came in and I heard a rona. And turned around and it was Dr. Saib, the health doctor. He goes, come with me. And I turned around and all the nurses were like, because um, um, they all knew already. They already knew. <laughs> and um, and I followed him and I'm looking at the nurses going, oh, am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? We followed him into the room, sat me down and he goes, 
Rona, I've got the results of your blood tests. And I went, oh yeah? Well, it's a bad. And he goes, well, as a matter of fact, you are actually pregnant. <laughs> and I sat there and I looked at him and I went, what? And he goes, yes, it is true. Your blood tests have come back positive for preg pregnancy. And I went, <laughs> And I, I just looked at him and I cracked up, man. Na tana āhua, ka mea mai ngā tākuta e kore e tāia e rona tana pēpi te kawe mo te roa ngāke o tana wā hapu. Tore te kaumā ono wiki, ka wawe tana hāringa ki te hohi pera mo te puka whānau hāparangi. You know, at the time, well, we didn't know whether the baby was going to be all right because they did say to us that um, Rona needs to have this now because baby's in trouble. So yeah, I just got there when they were pushing her through the thing. She was in there for a long time. Hey. Yeah, I think for she was in there for about three, four hours. We oh. waited and waited, and every time somebody come out of there, no, it wasn't her. They actually, she came out first. She came out first. Rona came after. <coughs> yeah, this baby came out, and this baby was all had all tubes. All it was in it. She was in an incubator, all these tubes, and this baby came out. And um, me and the grandfather looked at each other, and that's our moko. And it was. So um, Rona's sister went running up to the, to the nurse and said, Oh, who's that baby? Oh, this is a Miss Walker. <laughs> we knew straight away, yeah, that was our moko. Was she crying? But yeah, no, she was only a tiny wee. She was a she has 1,200 grams. Yeah. Same size as my hand. I was glad it was all over for her, eh? Because, you know, in the last <coughs> six, seven months, she'd gone through a lot with dialysing every day, and um, and I was just glad it was all over. Baby was fine, and she was fine. So, yeah, no, I was, I was just glad it was all over. <laughs>